it's Magical Monday. Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things. And I have uh, spent part of the morning searching for images for our Magical Monday collage. And I found a couple things that I think will be really fun to work with. But um, first, when you are traveling out and about and going to a friend's house for lunch or dinner and they serve dinner on these fabulous graphic uh, placemats, paper placemats, um, don't be shy about asking if you can take one home. Um, we went over to a friend's house for just a casual dinner the other night, and I know that she loves flamingos, pink mangoes is what I call them. Um, well, it's because my granddaughter called them that, or does call them that. But uh, anyway, I just love these images. And after dinner, I said, would you mind if I take one of these placemats with me? And she said, of course not. She knows I'm a bit of a paper hoarder. So anyway, look for images everywhere that call to you, that appeal to you, and you'll be surprised what you will be inspired to do with them. So I have cut out two of these images. This is the first one, and I've, I almost have it totally uh, cut out. Um, and I thought I was going to use this, this guy, but when I, and I pulled some things that actually I just had here on my table, I was doing little mini gatherings the other day and had a bunch of little tiny things on my table. So this is the image that I decided to work with today. And it's a print from an old book. I think it was called A Day with Walt Whitman. And I don't even know who the artist was, but I love the colors. And I even brightened them up a little bit on, um, on Photoshop. So I really feel like I've started working in a series of using kind of a landscape background to make our magical collages. So if you remember, you saw this one was from last week and I built this in Photoshop with the grassy knoll here uh, with the sky and then I put the window in here. So I think I'm gonna continue this series for a while and because I really love what is happening. So this is the background and the background is available for free. Um, you can download it on my Facebook site, Linda Carroll Art Creative Community. And if you join, there are a number of free uh, images that you can um, download for your collages. So this is the one I'm gonna work with today because I had in mind that I wanted to include this pink flamingo in here and he's quite bright which is uh, a little bit of a change from this the the uh kind of pastel of this background so you have that um you have that interaction of kind of opposites here that always work in collages. And so you juxtapose a bright color against a more muted color here in the background. So I decided that this little guy would go here and you can see this line, I guess it's a hedgerow or something. I want it to meet up here with this, the top of his beak right here. So I'm going to finish cutting him out, but then I started looking around on my table um, in that pile of goodies that I had that I was making my minis from, and I found this face 
and this I think this was also um, on a download if not it was in the kit for the um, birds bees and blooms album but I thought okay I, I think the colors here work so well with these colors and I thought I put her face up here in the sky and the, one of the magical things about this is this road right here continues up into the clouds and I just love that so and I don't I don't want to lose that illusion so I may move him down a little bit so you can see that continuing down here and then your eye will finish it okay so here he is and I found this face and I thought that worked really well up here. And then these flowers, it's just a scrap from my um, birds, bees, and blooms kit. And I thought it might be pretty. I'd have to cut this so it would work in really well because this, this is a lot of darkness down here. Um, I didn't want to put it over here, but I thought this would help, um, you know, work this brightness across a little bit. So, and then let's see, I found this crown. Oh, here comes my little helper. I found this crown that I thought would be great to put on the head of my Mingo. And then I started pulling all kinds of stuff. And I thought, well, does this guy go in here? Kind of like this monster creature. And I decided no, because he was really going the wrong direction. And then I found a moon face. And I thought, well, should I put this moon face up here instead of the girl's face but that seemed too small so that option went away I really like that much better and the colors go much better with this overall layout that's happening and then I saw these flying fish and I went okay let's see what happens here I like that and put him up there. I wish he was going the other direction. Really do. But they could, you know, they could just be flying together here across the sky. Oh, here you are. Hi. Hi dear. Did you come up to help? Did you come up to help? Hmm? Did you? He's usually not in here, but we have, um, we have people working on our chimneys today. <laughs> so you've decided to be king of the table. Huh? You've decided to be king of the table? Come on. No. No, you, you can't be up here right now. Go on. Stay down. Go on out in the garage. Okay. So, I thought, well, they could just be flying over here through the countryside together. I like that. I like the colors. Um... And the way they work with everything. So I'll have them zooming in, in from this side. And then I saw this in my, in my stash. So I moved those off of here. And I really, I really like 
the colors in this and the way it kind of just breaks this edge over here. So I thought, well, okay, would that work if I put my fish on top here? Maybe. So I have a lot of elements that I'm working with. Um, and I think I have something here that I'm really going to to like. Let's see. Can we maybe put the fish down here? Would they? No. I think they need it to be up here in the sky. Maybe something like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, fussy cut around all of these images and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready to glue everything in place. I moved uh, this face over a little bit and I decided to um, move my Mingo back up into the scene. Uh, it, it just didn't look right if when I lowered it down some. So uh, I might cheat this white line up here to have it continue. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Get my glue book. And I'm just going to use my glue stick. And start up here in the corner. Now you can, and I think I am, going to go around these edges. Um, just in case I have a little bit of white showing and I'm just barely touching the pad to the edge of the artwork okay just to make sure that the white isn't showing up And when I move this over, I really like the way it broke this line up here of the clouds. So let's pat her down. And then I think I'm going to do my flowers down here at the bottom and my mingo. And I didn't like the way that this flower was cut off. So I got another page of my kit and I cut this flower out 
to continue these flowers across and I really like that I have continuing these lines that are through the collage so I think he's just I'm just gonna match him up with the bottom of the page here so we'll glue this one down first and I'm just gonna touch these since it's on a dark background, it'll just blend right in. So I hope everybody's doing well and had a great weekend. I had a put a video up over the weekend of the making the little uh, mini gatherings for the journal that I'm working on and I told everybody then it was bike week last week here at, in Myrtle Beach so it was a little loud <laughs> this, this weekend but I think almost everybody's gone home so we're back to a little bit more quiet quiet time I enjoy you know when I'm doing collage this kind of work I work in uh, in quiet a while ago I used to play music um, but now I seem to prefer the quiet um, and some people have commented on how they feel about having music playing or if they have a movie on to, you know, just have some background distraction or, you know, or if they, if they like to work in quiet and, you know, a lot of people get inspiration, uh, when they're listening to music. Uh, so how do you work? You leave a comment below because it's it's interesting to see how other people approach their studio time. I myself I like the quiet. Okay, that's how I want him. And I'll just cut this off where it overlaps the side over here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna add Hale's crown. Definitely need to to a little darkening around these edges. And I'm just using um, it's at Tim Holtz Distress Inks. You can use um, a Sharpie marker or, you know, any kind of marker. Just make sure that it doesn't bleed up into your artwork. So you might want to try it on a sample piece of paper first. A 
little. This one here. And I'm just going to kind of cock the, the crown on his head, but make sure that it meets the, you know, the, his head here up here in the corners. So it will look like it's sitting on his head. Okay. And now I have these pieces and these two fellows here. So let's put this piece on first. And you'll notice I'm looking at, you know, the lines in the painting. And I want to kind of match those lines you know, when, when artists paint and draw, they are dividing up their space. And you can see this is pretty much in thirds, you know. And I, so there's a reason why these hills are where they are. They're not, it's not just arbitrary. Even if it's, even if it's subconsciously done. Um artists who work a lot and paint a lot know where the lines of their paintings and how their canvas is divided just like as collage artists we know we tend to break a few more rules i think Ooh. in our the way we approach our artwork Okay, and lastly, I have my flying fish that are going to be heading across the page. And let me decide where I want I want them to go. I think right there. You know, I'm looking right here where this fin meets the edge of this paper and it kind of continues the line there. And that is how I decided where this one was going to be placed. And I love this fish. If I didn't... um post this page it is in the kit um the kit the birds bees and blooms kit but if i did not um i kind of put it in there as kind of a freebie collage page but if i did not post it on my on my creative community site i i will with this background never hurts to add to your stash of images alrighty I'm looking right here at that edge. And then that will determine where this guy goes. we go. Oh, 
Okay. What do you think? I'm going to trim off these edges here. So we're not distracted. Oh my. Cat wants in on the action. Okay, I think I need to take a white pencil. And you see where this, and I don't want to do it very darkly. I just want This one isn't showing up really well. Let me see what other ones I can find. I can see it a little bit, but that's all I want. Just a suggestion that the road continues up into the sky. Okay, I think we're good. Another magical collage. I think it would. Uh, This one, I really, really love. So we're gonna continue on our on our magical Mondays, and I think we're gonna continue on this series. And I'll provide you with the background, and you add whatever you you feel works for you, and what you have in your stash, and what you can find and come up with your own magical collage so i hope you're having a great day or evening whatever it is whenever it is you see this and uh, many blessings to you and i'll see you again real soon bye for now